YouTube, welcome to Books Happen. My name is Sarah, and today I'll do my second book review. Yeah, I've been pretty nervous about doing book reviews for several things, but I've decided that I'm going to do a book review for a book that I read last week and I loved. First of all, I love fantasy and my Yikian romance. So, the book that I read was just perfect for that. It was Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. Basically, the story is about Selena Sardothian, well, who is a kick-ass assassin, and she's like pretty awesome, and she's really great, and she's killed many people, and everybody fears her, but she was caught, and she was sent to prison. So then she was taken out of prison by the prince himself. So he offered her a deal in which if she won a competition, she was going to serve him for four years and eventually she'll have her freedom and she was desperate in need for her freedom. That's basically like the overview of like what the book's more or less about. It's so much more deep into that, but I'm not going to say it. This book has a map. I don't know if you can see it. If a book has a map, it's just so wonderful. To imagine and have like a geographical idea of where's ha where's the stuff happening. I loved Selena and the the, the the fact that she was a girl and the rest of the town was afraid of her. They didn't know she was a girl. She's like a really girly assassin. She's actually worried about girly stuff. Uh, she mentions how she wants to <laughs> be free and then be able to buy her own dresses because she looks she she likes to look good. It is not the main thing, but there is a love triangle in the story. There's Captain Westfall, which is also called Kale, and he is like the quiet guy, uh, really reserved, doesn't speak much about his feelings or what he's thinking. He lets you know that there's a distance between you and him, and he's very private and always keeps things to himself, never expresses what he feels, what he thinks. And then we have Prince Dorian. He's like very charming and handsome and you want to kiss him or that's what Selena always is saying. Me personally, I was team Captain Westfall. I, I, I repeat, it was not the main thing of the book which made it pretty cool because you were thinking about the other stuff happening and then you were thinking about the romance and it kind of balanced it all. There were other champions uh, in this competition that Selena had to win in order to have her freedom back and there were several things happening and nobody knew what was going on, why were some competitors and some champions appearing dead out of nowhere. Then enters the magic stuff. There was some um, dark things going on in the book and that's like the magic part of the book which is really awesome. Uh, you're not really aware that it's gonna pop up in the book like that. Uh, magic existed but now it's forbidden and it's forgotten and no, no, uh, no, uh, nobody knows about it. So you're like, what? You know what's so good about this book? How she's not portrayed as a kick-ass assassin that uh, she can come over the world. You can admire her weak spots and you can admire also her strong spots, but they show you her human side and her, and her assassin side. It's not just a super powerful person, she's a human being. I like how it was portrayed in this book, how we get to know her in all of her aspects. And I really enjoyed the action parts where she was like, and then I sliced him over here. And then he punched me, but I avoided the blow. I like that she's a kick ass with the knives. I shouldn't be playing with these things. Yeah, sometimes I was like, oh, I want some more action. I want some more action. One of the best things about this book, it is the plot finishes and concludes. It doesn't end in a cliffhanger that you want to die because you don't have the next book here. There are loose ends. There are some things that are relevant to the story and that are not concluded and that you know that there's gonna be more. But you can patiently wait for the next part and I'll be like, ah, I want to look book right now and it's not even out yet. Kind of feeling not with this book. But you definitely want to know more about Selena Sardothian. So I'll be definitely reading the series. So that's been uh, a rambling review 
about stuff I like about this book. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! Adios!